Hello everybody and welcome to PGG. I play four new games from the Game Pass every month and eliminate one each week until we have the winner, my personally recommended game of the month. Keep in mind these are only my opinions. Today is the 1st of November, and with the new month comes a pack of four new games. The games of November 2020 are Eichenfell, The Sword of Ditto, Mormo's Curse, Heave Ho, and Age of Empires 3. I'm gonna spend today taking a look at each of the games. It's gonna be a shorter video today, I'm just gonna spend it looking at each of the games. First in our list is Eichenfell. Eichenfell is a turn-based RPG. Basically this game is Harry Potter and the Chamber of Secrets. I'm not gonna lie, there's a school of magic and everybody is perfect and fine until, oh no, a girl goes missing. Just tell me when this starts to get familiar. And when the girl goes missing, monsters appear, because they totally didn't have anything to do with the girl. But wait, you're never alone in magic school. You've always got some friends to come along and help you chase butterflies. Yep. Butterflies. If only Ron Weasley was here to see this. In this game, you play as Harry Pot- <coughs> Merit. Alongside your two friends, Hermione- <coughs> Never mind. Okay, in all seriousness, this game is very much like Harry Potter and the Chamber of Secrets. When a girl goes missing, you've got to defend a magical school from monsters alongside your friends. I like the art style of the game, it's very retro, I almost feel like it's a game that was made in the 80s. The sound quality is pretty good, I like the sound effects for the demons in the tutorial when they scream. I like the game. Alright, those are my thoughts on Eichenfell. Second in our list is Sword of Ditto. Mormo's Curse. Sort of Ditto is almost like Moonlighter. The art style, the way the characters look, the town layout itself. It just reminds me of Moonlighter so much. So basically, the game starts with this guy appearing on the beach. This guy is you. You walk into the town without any questions and pull out a sword that's been stuck in this rock for like hundreds of years or something. Sound familiar? It also reminds me of Steven Universe. And those are my thoughts on Sort of Ditto, Mormo's Curse. Third in our list is Heave Ho. Heave Ho is one of those games where it's best to bring along a friend and play. Don't get me wrong, it's still amazing in single player, which is what I played, but in the trailer it's advertised in multiplayer mode. It's a game meant for friends to play with you. Alright, so basically in this game you play as Ark from Monsters University. Seriously, just look at them. You start at one point of the screen, and you've got to climb and cling your way across the map to the other side to win. There you go. Heave ho in a nutshell. Last but not least on our list is Age of Empires 3 Definitive Edition. Wait, they've changed so much compared to the other games that came before it. First, I've got to say, the graphics are amazing. The way the water reacts to objects is an amazing improvement, and the fire looks amazing. So if you don't know what Age of Empires is, I'll catch you up. Age of Empires is a series of historical, real-time strategy video games. The first game was Age of Empires, released in 1997. Eight total games within the series have been released. Age of Empires has an online mode where you can play with or against your friends or play with or against random people across the world who are playing. You've also got story modes and all kinds of crazy stuff. Personally, I've always had fun with the other games and never had a complaint about the graphics, but this is definitely an upgrade. Alright, that's all for today's episode. Make sure to come back next week because the first of the games are going to be eliminated. I'll be back Sunday, 12pm Central Standard Time. Thanks for watching, thanks for subscribing, and remember, life is short, play great games.